when I first heard the casting that Robert Pattinson was going to be playing the Batman, I said, nope, not going to work. The guy played a sparkled vampire. You can't play Batman. Now, I know I'm a few weeks behind on getting this review out. My household's been a bit chaotic the past couple weeks. I'm not going to bore you with the details. But I finally got around to seeing the Batman. And I can't say enough how good I feel about being wrong when it comes to Robert Pattinson playing the Batman. This guy knocked it out of the park. I feel like I owe the guy an apology. This is a whole different take on the Batman I've never seen before. It's one that I'm actually very glad I got to see. Matt Reeves directs this movie and he did a fantastic job. The cinematics in this movie were absolutely stunning. Some of the camera angles were absolutely mind blowing and it totally made the movie. Now this film, when the Riddler, who is a sadistic killer, starts picking off key political figures in Gotham, Batman is forced to investigate the city's hidden corruption and even question his own family's involvement. Also in this movie, you're going to find Zoe Kravitz, who's going to play Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman. Jeffrey Wright plays Lieutenant James Gordon. Colin Farrell plays the Penguin. Paul Dano as the Riddler. And John Turturro as Carmine Falcone, along with a handful of other ones. But I can't see enough of how everyone in this cast just did a phenomenal job and it made their character feel natural. The chemistry that they all had with each other was top notch. It was so good. Now this takes place very early on in Batman's crime fighting career. You're only a couple years into it so he's still making his gadgets and his vehicles and everything's handmade by him. And it's very primitive at the moment, and it feels really good to kind of explore this aspect of his career. Because normally when we see it, he's already pretty well evolved and settled into being the Batman and crime fighting. And this time, it's, it's not that way. He's still adapting. I feel like he's still trying to separate the Batman and Bruce Wayne. Because this is where the conflict for me came in. Robert Pattinson himself has proven to me that he is an amazing Batman. I, I am shocked how much I enjoyed him as Batman. But as Bruce Wayne, this is where it got complicated for me because I wasn't really, I, I wasn't finding myself enjoying Bruce Wayne much. Luckily, he's Batman like 90% of this movie, so we don't really get to see Bruce Wayne a whole lot. But when he is Bruce Wayne, he's still dark and angry and... I just feel like he's he's not that charismatic millionaire playboy that we've seen from other Batman movies who uses his family name and fortune to help influence other government politics. Which in a way, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, would make sense because as the movie progresses, you kind of see Batman evolving himself into becoming a different type of crime fighter. So I honestly, I left this theater going, I want more of this. I immediately, as soon as the credits start rolling, I went, I want a sequel to this. I want to know more about where the Batman is going. And that is honestly something I didn't expect myself saying when I got out of this movie theater. Now, one of the things I really enjoyed about this movie probably was because of the fact that he is very early on in his crime fighting career. It shows his mistakes. It shows he's not perfect. And it shows his struggles throughout this whole thing. So it kind of brings a bit of humanity to a caped crusader. Paul Dano did an absolutely great job as the Riddler. Definitely a darker, more sadistic Riddler than we're ever used to seeing. Gave me more of a jigsaw feel, to be honest, than the Riddler. This Riddler was so smart and very calculated and what he was doing and really sucked the Batman into his game and Batman didn't even know it. So this was a really cool twist. But then we have Lieutenant James Gordon. I fell in love with James Gordon. This guy was like Batman's right hand man throughout the entire movie. And I feel like it was almost a Robin like character. It was like his sidekick. This guy was almost as important to the movie as the Batman himself. We even see a huge evolution of his character throughout this entire thing. Him and the Batman mesh so well that I feel like they're helping each other evolve. They're making each other a better crime fighter. Matt Reeves even managed to pull Gotham City itself front and center as a character. 
I don't know how you make a place a character, but I actually feel like I could have lived there. Like, normally Gotham City is like this fantasy place that, okay, Batman lives and fights crime, but it's just kind of like an unobtainable stage for him to be on. This is like, I felt like I was there. Like, I was at Gotham with Batman. I felt like those alleyways and the streets were a substantial part of each scene. Like, they served a purpose. It wasn't just a place where he was standing on beating guys up. So bravo, Matt Reeves. Now, this next part might be a stretch, but I'm going to have to say the chase scene with the Batmobile in this movie probably ranks up there. I'm going to say one of my top chase scenes. The cinematography during this scene was amazing. I love the expressions I got from the Batman and the Penguin during the whole scene. The back and the forth, the Batmobile itself, the way the camera angles would hit it just right. The flame shooting out of the back. I mean, that one, nah. I mean, as a car guy, I loved it. I did. Overall, this movie took me completely by surprise. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. I really want more of this, though. I'm really hoping Matt Reeves is working on a sequel to this Batman movie because it definitely deserves it. There is a huge opening here for Batman to evolve even further, and there's definitely an opening for more villains and where this could go down the road. I just, I really hope this gets explored more because I am definitely now hooked. So if you're on the edge about it, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, go watch this movie because trust me, you'll thank me for it later. If you've already seen the movie, I want to know what your thoughts are down below without spoiling it for anyone else who hasn't seen it. If you made it this far in the video, I do greatly appreciate it. Make sure you drop a like on it for me. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.